Try it again. Okay. No. Good morning. Our Sunday school lesson today is going to be about being connected to God through Jesus. But first, we're going to have a little fun and sing a song that I think most of you are familiar with. This little light of mine. So we're going to hold up our pointer fingers and we're going to pretend that there's a light at the end of our finger and wave it around as we sing. Are you ready? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. Hide it under a bushel. No! I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No! I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No! I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now, we, knew, we know that if it was a flashlight we were using, that the flashlight, in order to for the light to shine, would have to be turned on and connected to the battery source. Jesus wanted the people to know that he what he was talking about and in order for them to understand sometimes he would use parables which were special stories or he would use examples of vines and grapes now do any of you know what a vine is a vine is a special plant that grows fruit such as these grapes which are growing on all these little vines if you can see them. Jesus told the people that I am the true vine and God, our Father, is the creator and our caretaker. And just as the people cared for their crops, he told them that God cares for them. Now the people knew that if a seed was planted in good soil, and it was tended to and watered and given the nutrients that it needed, it would grow into a healthy vine, a healthy tree like this grapevine with all its branches, and it would produce luscious, delicious fruit like all of these grapes. However, if a vine was left on its own to grow or a seed, uh, it might bear fruit, or maybe it might bear some flowers, but eventually, most likely, they would wither and die, like these vines and these grapes here. They don't look too healthy, do they? I wouldn't want to eat them. Jesus taught us that without a connection to him, we cannot grow and flourish and have a full, loving, and caring life. Through Jesus, we get support, we get forgiveness, we get blessings, and we get life ever after. Our Bible verse is John 15, 5. Jesus tells us, I am the vine and you are the branches. He who remains in me will grow fruit. So we're going to have a little fun with that and you can stand up if you want and because you're going to move around and we're going to do some movements. I'm going to stay seated because if I get up you won't be able to see me. Okay so are you ready? So the first line is I am the vine. So raise your hands up and wave your hands all around their vines waving in the breeze okay next stand still and straight because you're a tall tree and we are the branches and those branches are growing up 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 to the sky the next line is he who remains in me wrap your arms around yourselves and give yourselves a hug he who remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. So we're going to reach up and we're going to pick all that fruit. We're going to pick those delicious 
tasting grapes. Oh my goodness, those green and those purple and red grapes. Okay, now I'm going, now we're going to do our craft. I have some crafts that I show you that we're going to do. First of all, I kind of did my own drawing of vine and branches and grapes. And what I did was I used my fingertips and I just put my fingertips on the paper and I traced the circles of my fingertips. And then I colored them in, I colored some in purple, some in green. And then I took a brown magic marker and I drew lines and I made vines. So it looked like the grapes are growing on the vines. And then I took a green magic marker and I just made little tiny dots, which are supposed to be little tiny leaves. And if you want to be creative and draw your own leaves, you can do that. Now my next craft is if you have a paper bag and you can cut a wide strip from the paper bag and you can twist it up and make it into a vine and then you can take, I had some sparkly paper, so I made some green sparkly leaves and I used some purple paper to make purple grapes and I glued them on to my vine here. If you don't have a paper bag, you can also use this roll. This cardboard roll came from that of a paper towel rack. So once the paper towels are used up, I took this roll off and you can use that as your vine if you want. Last of all, I did a printout of a grape and vine picture and I colored it in. Now, at the beginning of the video, up above the video, Pastor Jesse will have a site posted where you can print out or your parents can print out this picture if you would like to and color it. So now we're going to end with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for sending Jesus, your son, down to us. Let our faith and love in you and him help us to flourish and grow into caring and loving people. Amen.